Hi everyone and welcome for today's video. Today we are going to make a beach scene again and this time it's a larger one because the size this time is about 40 by 80 centimeters. So it is a rectangular one which I did a couple of times before already but this time I was commissioned to do it. <laughs> so thank you so much Laura. <laughs> And even better, this time it is again a night scene. Laura saw the first version that I made on Etsy and really liked the color scheme, so she asked me if I can it a bit larger, which I'm doing here. And I really can't wait to start making the project. So if you like to follow along how I did the project in general in detail, you can follow along the first tutorial that I did there, where I basically explain all the steps that I did as I did in almost all my beach scene videos. So the process, the steps are very much the same. There is not so much more to tell actually. Everything that I'm using for this project you can see here on the screen. This is my large jar with the glue scent mixture. And this is just the leftover that I had from all the other projects that I did before that. So I just mixed my sand with the PVA glue and whatever I did not need on the projects ahead. I just put in the jar, sealed the lid and everything is kept safe for ages. <laughs> Besides that I'm also going to need some acrylic paint to color in the sand. You can just use whatever color or acrylic you want. Some decoration, so in this case seashells and some larger and smaller stones because this was what she requested. Of course you should also use some gloves because the PVA glue sand mixture is kind of sticky. Imagine that. <laughs> and the resin added later to it requires some gloves as well. You will need a pellet knife just to even out the sand mixture and something to stir around your sand PVA glue mixture with the acrylic paint. I'm using just an old brush which I've already used to mix some resin, so it is rock hard, can't use it as a brush anymore and I can just use it to stir around my sand again. So enjoy the project. I will have some music rolling in the background. And if you have any questions about the process itself, feel free to leave me down below in the comment section. <laughs> so see you later when it comes to the resin part. As we have seen, when I applied the sand and evened it out, I applied some layers of acrylic paint to the water area, just to give it more depth to begin with and also help with the base layer color when I add the resin. This doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be even, but it darkens down the canvas which helps in the next step, which is adding the resin. Color-wise, you can see everything that I'm using here in the screen. This is a white and a purple resin pigment paste from Resonate. This also is a pink acrylic metallic paint from Lawrence and Morgan. And some glitters from Just For You Online UK, 
which I really like working with. Besides that, some cups of course to mix the resin in. And when it comes to the resin itself, I'm using the Mastercast resin on this project just to give me a bit more time to work with it. So other than that, this is everything that I did in the preparation phase. I mixed everything together and now I give you some music again and you can follow along what I did to achieve the end result. But for now already, I really hope you enjoyed watching this project again. I hope you like the color scheme as much as I do. And if you did experiment with some other fancy color schemes yourself in the beach scene, just let me know. I would be super happy to see them. Just tag me on Instagram or Facebook, wherever, and show me your results. If you are new to my channel and like the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to not miss out any of my new coming videos. Therefore, also click the bell icon to get all the notifications. If you want to get in touch with me, my social media is also linked down below in the video description along as the materials that I have used. And you can also find a link to my Etsy store if you want to look around my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching, and other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.